Today I'm going to give you a quick visual demonstration of cable ratios. In a lot of the videos you'll hear when we're talking about uh, cable machines, lap pull down machines, cable crossovers, we'll be talking about the weight stack and whether they've got a one to one, two to one, four to one ratio. Now that refers to any mechanical advantage uh, that is created by the arrangement of the pulleys. You know, for centuries, man has been using pulleys and arranging them in different manners to lift all sorts of objects. And, you know, they've figured out that you can arrange them so you'll get assistance or you won't get assistance. So in this case, this machine, we would refer to as having a one-to-one -one ratio. We've got a 10 kilo plate on here and the weight stack is at the 10 kilo selection mark. So you can see, I mean, it's not perfect as far as there's different elements, as far as the, you know, that there might be a slight variation in the weight there. We've got the carabiners, the, you know, the different parts, but you can see ultimately that that's in balance and there's no real advantage. Now here we've got a machine that's got a two to one ratio. Now, just to confuse you a bit more, this machine has got five pound plates. So you're going to have to convert. So there's nine plates activated at the moment. Nine times five is 45. A 20 kilo plate is 45 pound roughly. So that's the reason why it might look a bit different. But so we've got a 10 kilo plate suspending 45 pound or 20 kilos. So we're using half the weight of the stack or half the force of the stack. So that explains you've got double mechanical advantage in this case. You only need 10 kilos of force or um, power to lift 20 kilos. The next part of our lesson today is we're going to show you how when you combine both cables on a two to one ratio machine, you actually get one to one ratio. So we've still got 20 kilos or 45 pound activated on the weight stack, but this time we're suspending a 20 kilo or 44 pound plate. So as you can see, we've got perfect balance and now we've got a one-to-one -one ratio. Now you're probably asking why have two to one, one to one, why not make it all the same? Why, why, why do different machines adopt different weight ratios? Um, there's a few different reasons. Now on a machine like this, it's primarily designed for isolation movements. So uh, if you had one to one ratio, even though the, the plates are only five pound or 2.2 kilos, for certain exercises, those increments can be can be quite difficult and you know if you've got this machine in a physiotherapist or um, personal trainer that trains people that are inexperienced um, it makes it a lot easier to progress in weights if you can make smaller jumps but the other important part is the other reason that a, a mechanical advantage is important is how the, the weight stack actually moves on a one-to-one -one ratio how far you move the handle will be how far you move the weight stack. Now on this machine, I can move the handle twice as far as the weight stack will move. And I'll demonstrate this. So for certain exercises that have a, a, a large range of motion, So I've already activated the weight stack, which I probably shouldn't do. I should drop the, the, uh, the pulleys down, but this is just for demonstration. So I've already activated the weight stack. And we'll compare that with a machine that's one-to-one -one ratio. Now, the, the other aspect of, of this movement is that certain exercises you might want to do like a, a, a wood chop where it's got a bit of sw speed or you're practicing a movement for your golf swing when you've got a two to one ratio the weight stack will move at half the speed 
If you're doing those sort of exercises on a one-to-one -one ratio, the weight stack will move a lot faster and, you know, that can cause issues on certain machines depending on how far the pin comes out and it can sway. Um, and yeah, so these, these machines are better suited for isolation exercises and exercises that have large range of motions or um, exercises that you're moving the weight stack at speed. And to demonstrate what the movement is like in comparison, now I've connected both the cables together, so I've turned this into a one-to-one -one ratio machine. I'll do the same exercise. So you can see how far the weight stack goes up and how fast it's moving. And if I'm doing it, you can see there's a bit of like whiplash in the movement just to break it down to make it easy to understand on a one-to-one -one machine if my range of motion is a meter the weight stack's going to move a meter on a two-to-one machine if my range of motion is a meter i'm going to move it 50 centimeters now you can get machines that are four to one so that's going to move it 25 centimeters and if the weight's 40 kilos on a four to one machine, you're only going to be lifting 10 kilos. If that machine is two to one, you're only going to be lifting 20 kilos. We might even put a table on there to make it um, easy for you to understand, but hopefully that explains why the different machines and, you know, one trap that people fall into uh, when comparing machines they might be looking and going, oh, wow, this machine's got two 100 kilo stacks. And I know people do that when they're looking at our Smith cable rack. That's only got 55 kilo stacks. But the difference being is that the Smith cable rack is a one-to-one -one ratio machine and the machine with the two 100 kilo stacks is a two-to-one, so effectively, you get more weight on the Smith cable rack because you've got 55 as opposed to a real life 50 kilos. Now, effectively, when, when you're, you're, you're doing that comparison, you've got to think, well, I'm actually paying for 50 kilos or 100 kilos extra, 50 kilos either side, that I'm not actually going to use as resistance. Now, this might be fine. If you're going to use that machine for isolation movements and for the, you know, the demonstrations I did then with the two to one, where you want a slower weight stack movement, you want more range of motion, that might be great. But if you're just looking to do, you know, sort of compound movements or you're a more advanced lifter, then the 55 kilo weight stack is going to do the same as a hundred kilo, but you're paying less for the actual machine. Plus, if you're getting it shipped, shipping's done by weight and it's gonna cost you more to ship. 